Hi, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. I'm going to show you another custom design name chop today for Dr. Robert Road. Um, this is a computer printout I uh, made uh, with four characters Lo Bo Te Seal. Uh, I had a question before that someone asked what uh, EP means. Um, I was confused myself and then finally I figured out the Chinese uh, seal always and with uh, this character means the seal uh, in Chinese pronunciation in. So this design means uh, Robert Lo Bo Te In. Lo is also the initial of uh, his uh, last name. So uh, in Chinese last name comes first. So Robert Lo Bo Te, perfect Chinese name. Um, Bo means a doctor. So he is a doctor in um, English, a professor in English department. Uh, of the university. He is a very good artist. I got uh, some paintings from uh, from him so uh, you can see he's very he's very good at uh, brush painting. Here's another one um, and uh, he made this uh, chops himself. Uh, so I'm very proud to make a name chop and a mood chop for him. So the first job we're going to do is a uh, name chop. This uh, stone he sent to me is a used stone, pre-carved stone that he doesn't like the design so I will erase it and then redo it. This is how I do the polishing or erasing if you like. Uh, to hold the, the seal at a level, uh, so you move circular in one direction, and you can turn different sides occasionally to so make sure it's even. You can check to see if it's there, still needs. So all the sides should be even. Very quick, not very hard to do. It takes about one minute. Um, you can use a, a very fine one to polish. This is a very fine sand. So it's a perfectly flat. Next, I'm going to copy the design. Use uh, this kind of uh, paper. Special kind of uh, paper is called a tan paper, tan fiber paper. Tan is a kind of a uh, vine plant. The paper is made of uh, the fiber from that kind of uh, wild vine and uh, it's very transparent it's a very uh, old traditional copy paper so I just use a regular Chinese ink to trace it This is a very tough paper actually. Uh, it can also serve as a transfer paper. I'll show you in a minute.
Chinese uh, seal engraving art is an extension of Chinese calligraphy, you can see. So the strokes, the style all resembling the writing is derived from the calligraphy. We uh, use knife as a brush. The first we write it on the paper and then we write on the stone. This character te means uh, special. And this last character means uh, seal. You always see that in name seal. But you don't have to use it if you uh, like a uh, just use your name only. It's a very traditional to have this seal. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute to let it dry. Now I'm going to transfer the design onto the stone. I put the copy paper or transfer paper upside down so the ink side facing the stone. Now I'm using uh, some moisture, some clean water to stick the paper on the stone with the ink side facing the stone. So just enough water to make it damp, not uh, too, too much water. You can see this uh, paper is very tough. It will not fall apart when it's wet. Okay, now we uh, wait a little bit to let it uh, uh, dry. Now I'm using a pebble stone to rub the paper uh, lightly. You can use a fingernail, the main people do that, but it's just nicer to have a pebble stone, I think. Now carefully lift the paper. Some part I need to retrace it, uh, but it's much easier than I start from the scratch to write the mirror image. So I just uh, use brush to make up the missing part. Actually, I found permanent marker the best uh, to do the trace the hint that we did uh, because the permanent marker will not disappear uh, easily when you carve it. You can use a permanent marker instead of uh, using the ink brush. Now I'm going to do the carving. I usually start with the edges so I get a feel of the stone. It's a very easy to carve stone called the Qin Tian or green field. It's a very typical soap stone or seal carving stone. <coughs> the knife I'm using is called the Wu Chang Shuo knife, it's named after the famous artist, seal engraving artist in the Qin, late Qin dynasty. It's very heavy weight, very large size. I like it, uh, many artists like it because it's uh, easier to create kind of an antique look not too sh uh, smooth but uh, kind of dull strokes you know you can tell now I'm, carve out, I'm doing the negative carving so I carve out the stroke 
you will appear as white on the final stem. circle is very challenging, so I had to turn the stone uh, and the knife. Now I'm going to finish carving soon. I use a, a smaller knife. I have I found it's easier because the style, the curvy style, if I use a smaller knife, it's easier to do the curve, cursive style.
you can do all uh, the same direction strokes into one time and then turn the stone and do the other side. Pay special attention on the curve, uh, the corner. This last character meaning in uh, the seal. Okay, now uh, I'll make a first test stamp. The animal head facing the user, so I know the upside and downside orientation. We need to make uh, all the strokes uh, in this in similar width. I usually use ink or marker to make all the surface dark when I make modifications so you can see better. So uh, basically I will make all the strokes uh, wider so it will uh, be more even. to make a second test and you can use the tenth paper actually to make a very uh, Dear copy, you can use the tin paper or the random fiber paper. Here's a very thin, it would uh, let me show you. And you can change over and uh, look at that this way. Make sure the stroke is all shown before you lift it. This is the, the uh, copy I use as a reference uh, because sometimes computer paper is not uh, exact of what uh, the strokes are. So I use the pen paper to make a dear copy. So I can continue the uh, polish. The, this time I concentrate on the the end of some strokes to make it uh, uh, round so there's no little sharp uh, corners. I like to make it uh, very smooth on the end. Yeah, I uh, just make this last character a little heavier.
as you can see, the polishing uh, modification time it takes longer than the initial carving. You make uh, numerous uh, tests and uh, modifications to reach the final result. Let me make a third test stamp. I'll just make it next to this one. So you can compare. Okay, now it's uh, more balanced, right? I made this corner a little heavier compared to this one. Can you see that? And if you look at the initial copies like this, so uh, don't give up. Keep modifying and modifying and modifying. If um, there's uh, some serious uh, problem, you can erase partially or completely, you know, it's a very enjoyable process. I hope it uh, helped you understand uh, the art of seal engraving. And uh, if you like to give yourself a trial, and you can get all the materials from our website, the stone, the knife, and uh, the paper, the special 10 paper. Thank you very much. Goodbye.